So at the end of the movie, Harrison Ford, who's playing the president, tells the terrorists that are on Air Force One to get off my plane. Get off my plane. Uh, and after my first use of the Surface Air Force One, I want to tell this thing to get out of my bike cave. Hey, Lanky Cyclist here, and today we are going to be talking about Air Force One. No, not the 1997 action flick starring Harrison Ford. We are going to be talking about the Surface Air Force One tubeless canister. And unlike the Harrison Ford movie, I would not recommend this particular product. So essentially what this product is, is a air pressure booster. So if you've ever tried to set up a uh, set of wheels tubeless, you know it can be kind of difficult to get the bead of the tire to seat upon the rim. Uh, and so if you're in a, a bike shop or you have access to an air compressor, uh, that makes the job a whole lot easier. If you don't have an air compressor like myself, uh, this product is supposed to basically replace the air compressor. So what you do is you take your regular pump, you pump up the air into this valve at the top, and then you pump and pump and pump until 140, 160 PSI. And then you flip this lever here and it shoots a sudden a gust of air uh, into your tire. And then theoretically, your tire should seat on the bead. This product does not do that very well. So just the other day, I tried to set up uh, the tires that are behind me tubeless. Uh, these tires have worked perfectly on these wheels before, uh, have had no issues with, with any kind of leaking or anything like that. And so I figured, you know, this should be a relatively simple job that I could do at home. And boy, was I absolutely completely wrong. So when I tried to set this up um, using the surface, I could not get enough air pressure to pump into those tires to get that set up. Tried every sort of trick in the book. Uh, I tried uh, putting a tube into these first, letting the tires sit with a tube for a little while to sort of reform their shape. Uh, that didn't work. I tried taking out the valve core. So then I was just putting air directly into the larger, uh, into a larger area, uh, unhindered by the valve core. That didn't work either. Uh, I pumped and pumped and pumped. Oh, Jesus. I got blisters on my thumbs, uh, tried, I don't know, 15 dozen times. Uh, to pump up this canister, to shoot the air in there, and it just uh, did not did not take. At the end of the day, I ended up going to a local bike shop uh, and having them use their air compressor, and voila, no problems. Tires filled right up. This thing just did not work. And I don't know uh, exactly why that is. Um, I mean, they give you instructions on here. I followed the instructions. Like I said, I tried sort of all the little tubeless uh, tips in there. I feel like part of the issue is that when you flip this lever to release all of the stored up air that's, that's saved here in the tank, uh, you're losing half of it through the valve that you're not using. So if you're using a Presta valve like I was, then you're losing a bunch of air through the Schrader valve. My conclusion after my first go around with this product uh, was that it's, it's completely useless. Uh, I have another set of wheels that I haven't tried setting up tubeless. I have some new tires coming for my road tires. So we'll try to use this to get those set up, um, but I'm not hopeful. So if this review has been helpful. Please hit like and subscribe to the channel. Likewise, if you've used this product and you agree with my assessment or disagree with the assessment, please comment below. Or if I'm just an idiot and I don't know how to set up a tubeless tire, please tell me in the comments uh, how I can get that done without an air compressor and with a air canister that doesn't work very well. Surface Air Force One would not recommend.